Welcome to another episode of Sci-Fi Night Light. I'm your host, Sebastian Mel Martinez, and this is a show where I basically sum up some random thoughts on sci-fi and horror. For the next few episodes, we're going to take a multi-episode look at masks, mostly from horror and slasher films. One criteria is, though, much like the normal show, that we're focusing on less known movies, or at least the ones that aren't widely known classics. So don't expect to see Jason and Ghostface and Michael Myers on these lists. In this first episode, we're going to take a look at the more human-looking masks that, despite their appearance, make the wearer look all but natural. A lot of people will probably think of a William Shatner mask in Halloween or the bank robber masks in Point Break, but like I said, we're focusing on lesser-known and publicized films, and there are plenty of films that are used. Most recently, we got to see these human face masks in The Purge, which admittedly is a pretty well-known movie these days, but not a very good one, so we'll start off with it. For some reason, these rich kids decided to don these plastic face masks. I guess it adds to the effect of creepiness, but it certainly isn't practical. So that was a recent movie that did that, though many previous films have done so as well, such as Sweet Alice, all the way from 1976. Tourist Trap, from three years later, pulled something similar but featured both human face masks and just creepy plastic faces in general. The 1983 movie Curtains also has a very creepy masked killer who ice skates. Hey, if you get five minutes for fighting in hockey, then how much you get for murder? In 1986, after another three year period, the film Slaughter High featured a human faced killer with a jester hat. Sure, why not? In a rather forgotten and poorly received horror film from 2001 titled Valentine, we got a return of a human face mask killer, though not necessarily in a good way. One more recent human faced mask that we got to see was a second segment of the film VHS entitled Second Honeymoon. And one of the best parts of that segment was without a doubt the creepy mask. So, those are some, but definitely not all, of the human faced mask villains in films. Knowing that I missed, let us know in the comments below and they might be brought up in future episodes. The Mask series continues next week. As always, I'm your host Sebastian Martinez, this is Sci-Fi Night Light, and I'm signing out.